Good morning, Minecrafty, and welcome back to Magic Farm. I've got a few more things done, uh, as you can see right away. I've got some tools for cooking. I've been able to make some stuffed eggplants and some chili, and these work. Uh, these work a lot better than just carrying around a bunch of steak with me. As you can see, I'm almost completely full right now, um, which is very nice. I've made a few more machines here. Uh, now that I got some more uh, materials from my quarry, um, and with these, I have been able to get some more stuff set up. As you can see, I have some redstone energy conduits down here, uh, linked up to an energy cell, and these are linked up to these uh, magmatic engines, which aren't currently on. This one is turned the wrong way. There we go. Uh, they're not on just yet, uh, because the tank has been moved and it is currently empty. Um, I do have a tesseract here though uh, to send liquid or rather to receive liquid from the nether uh, it's set to uh, receive only um, so what we want to do is I have an extra world anchor here and I have an extra well I have two world anchors and I have one extra tesseract um, I'm gonna go ahead and set one of these down here um, now of course it's uh, it's not ready to go just yet, uh, but we can fix that. So let's go back upstairs. Uh, now let's see. I have my minium stone here, um, which has been a huge help. Uh, it's been uh, it's been the reason I've got uh, most of these ready here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put our minium stone in here and some iron ingots. Uh, I want to go ahead and get two of these so we can use one for the uh, anchor when we go to the nether. Whoops! Turn around too fast. Wrong chest. Uh, we'll put the iron back. We'll come back down here. And we'll stick one of those in there. Now that's going to give us 12 hours of these, uh, this area chunk loaded. Hopefully it'll keep this tank loaded and maybe some of this stuff. I don't know just how far it goes, um, but that's fine. Uh, later on, I do plan on making this look a lot neater. I have so much cobblestone from the uh, from the quarry, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and um, use that, of course, to, uh, to make that look a lot better. I'll turn it into stone bricks and, and things like that. Um, come over here. And uh, I'll show you what we've got. Okay, uh, so here's our nice new pool uh, with the quarry stone. Um, I'm, I'll do something about those uh, those walls back there later. As you can see, however, I have more than enough dirt and stone than what I really need. Um, but that's okay. Uh, like I said, we'll we'll use the uh, the cobblestone to uh, make the basement look nicer. Um, and of course, over here, this is full of cobblestone as well. I haven't got those moved just yet, uh, but I will get them moved eventually. For the time being, however, uh, let's get up here and uh, we'll go to the Nether. Now I did try to break the other nether portal uh, that it keeps sending me back to and try to make this room a little larger. Um, still still not happy with it, however. It's made a brand new portal right where I broke the last one and sends me right back in there. Um, so I'll have to try and figure out why it's doing that. Uh, for right now though, I guess I won't worry about it too much. Uh, it would just be nice to not have to uh, take that walk back every single time I come back from the nether. Hello, pigman. Okay. Okay, so here we are. Uh, as you can see, the tank has been removed. Uh, so what I think I want to do is take the world anchor. And we're going to go ahead and place it here. We'll put our ender pearl in there. And now I think I can just set the tesseract there and we want to set it to the same channel 
Um, and we want send only. Now, do I have my redstone? Yes, I do. Okay, so we're gonna find out if this works. So there's a torch, and there's a torch. Apparently these guys are curious as well. They're all stuck in here. Okay, so this is... This is going. Um, now to find out if it's actually working, we need to head back. Uh, so let's go ahead and make our way back down. We'll go back through the nether portal. Uh, I'll pause quickly uh, once I get back so I can make the uh, the trip home. And then uh, once I get back to the house, um, we will go down and see if we're actually getting the lava like we're supposed to, or if I have done something incorrectly. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, I tried breaking this one and it didn't work. Stuck it right in front of it. Um, so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and pause and head home real quick, and then I'll start back up so we can check on the tank and see if it's filling up. Okay, so here we are. We're back at home. Uh, so let's head downstairs and see how it looks. And we definitely are getting lava. That's good. Uh, as you can see, this is an enormous tank. Um, but I wanted to make sure it was going to work properly. So there's some lava in it. Oh, there we go. And the world anchor must be working. Because um, lava is still pouring in. Okay, so now... Um, let's see here. I think I need to hit this with a wrench uh, to tell it to pour lava out. No? Okay. So maybe I need mm, a lever that I don't have. Uh, and I've gone and stuck myself down here. Okay. Not a problem. I'll get back out. We'll head upstairs and we'll grab a lever real quick. Uh, should be one in here. Perfect. Okay, we'll come back down here. Put that there. There we go. And now all these engines are working. Nope, that's not what I want. I want... Are they all filled already, or is the tank empty? Tank is empty. That's fine. Um, we'll just do... Oh, I want to be able to see down there and make sure everything's working properly. There we go. I know this doesn't look very neat right now. Um, but we should be getting some power. Uh, I've got this set up so when we get some more engines, we can plop them down here and they'll be ready to go. Let's come over here and check the energy cell. Uh, it's getting some, but it's also outputting. Um, let's go ahead and set that to zero. There we go, that's filling up. Uh, now I don't know if that will stop pulling power. Um, oh, I see, it's, it's trying to power these things. If that'll stop pulling power uh, when it doesn't need it, um, I'll need to look into that. Um, not real good at all of this stuff, but that's okay. I'll get it all figured out eventually. Um, okay, so we do have a little bit of power. I have three more energy conduits waiting to be filled, and I would like to get these machines hooked up here. So let me see how many more I'm going to need for that. Um, So let's see. One, two, three. That'll be perfect. Okay, so. Um, if I remember correctly, it's 200 millibuckets per energy conduit, and it's 100 per redstone. So if I drop six redstone in here, that should be enough to fill up three. It's going pretty quick. Of course, it's draining all that power. And here are my three conduits. All right. Oops. Ladder fail. Okay, so here. There. 
hop across, and there. Now, how much power has this got? Eh, it's getting quite a bit. Looking pretty good. I think these engines, however, are draining the uh, the lava faster than it can uh, than it can come in. So maybe what I need to do is uh, let's turn these off just for a bit. Uh, that's most of them. Uh, can I reach that one? Oh, this could be a problem. I'll turn this one off. And here we go. I can reach that one this way. There. Okay, now those should have time to fill up with lava. And, uh, and give the tank some time. Uh, once we get the tank filled up a little bit more, I'll go ahead and turn these back on and let my machines get going. We'll meet some more conduits and see if I can hook them up to this over here. Uh, if not, I will find a way to get power to those. Um, right now I don't need power to my rolling machine, so that can just stay the way it is, so that's fine. Okay, um, so that's our power situation finally upgraded. Um, it has been a little while, uh, but we finally got it upgraded. Uh, it is dark outside, um, but I do want to go ahead and try and get some more tools made. I've got a few more diamonds here. Uh, as you can see, I've made an encrusted spade and an encrusted pick, um, and I would really like a very large encrusted sword. Um, so, let's go uh, and, whoops, I've still got that turned on. Let's turn that off. Um, I want the broadsword. Okay, so it's four diamonds and three pieces of hot steel on the steel anvil. Okay, I'm not sure if I've told you guys yet or not, um, but I do have a steel anvil outside finally, uh, so that's very good. Okay, so I've got the th four diamonds for the sword, three for an axe, so I can get a new axe. Um, I'm going to need some more planks and maybe some more leather. Let me see what I have. Oh dear. Um, I have a lot of junk. I need to get a sorting area set up here. Way too much dirt in here. Okay, it looks like I don't have either ready. Um, so we'll take some of this. We have some paper. Oh, I do have some leather. Never mind. That should be good enough. I need to get some more wood. Uh, so we'll do that in the morning. Let's take a quick sleep here. Okay. Should be daylight outside. I'm gonna... Oh, I left my stone sword in there. That's fine. No big deal. There we go. Hello, Enderman, standing right outside. Okay, what we can do is we can go ahead and get some of this ready. There's that. Oops. Put that down. Um, had to have been one plank if that's the case. Let's check this again. Oh, I see. I'm doing this incorrectly here. So the leather there and there. Take this back. I'll move these diamonds over. Oh, Enderman is jumping around. Don't mind me. I just need to uh, get a few trees. As you can see, my Pig farm is finally going. I've got pigs everywhere. Um, perhaps later I'll go ahead and uh, take care of that. And then I can have some chili and some BLTs. Okay, this should be more than enough for a little while. Uh, we'll plant an extra one there. And maybe one over here. And just for the heck of it, one there too. Okay. So I'll go ahead and give myself some more planks right now. Makes eight, so I don't need to do too many of that. Okay, and here you can see my blast furnace has been going. It's been going for quite a while. Um, I've got my iron in here and everything else it needs. I've made some slow burn coal uh, with some... Uh, netherrack I've mined from the nether, 
and some normal coal. It's been working very well. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take some of that and we're going to see if I can use it over here. Uh, this. Um, actually, I think I need the normal coal there. Take the charcoal out. We'll put the pig iron here. And let's see what happens if I throw one of those in there. Well, Enderman is still cruising around. Okay, that's one piece. Um, I might get three or four pieces out of this instead of just the normal two. That's pretty nice. So I'll throw that back in there. And we'll put this back here. Oops, misclicked. No, nope, won't shift click. Got to do it the hard way. Okay. Uh, there's four. Okay, so I need three for the sword, and I'm going to need three for the axe, if I remember correctly. So I need a couple more. Great. Um, now, what happens if I put this in here? Oops, that's the wrong button. Okay, a little more. Needs to get hotter. A little more. Oh my goodness. Something tells me it won't go past that point, uh, so I need to be careful. Okay. Two, and one more. All right, I think that slow burn coal works uh, works pretty good, or pretty well, rather. Okay, so there's the sword. Uh, now, what have I done with my hammer? Mm, I guess I left it inside. Let's go grab it. Oh, is he in our house? Oh, yes he is. Uh, let's hurry up and get that sword. I wonder how long this is going to take. Eh, it could take a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause, and then we'll come back as soon as I've got this finished. Alright, I've just finished the sword. Looks pretty good. Um, let's go see if our friend is still hanging out. And uh, see if we can evict him here. There he is, right on top of my machines. Um, okay, uh, don't kill me. <laughs> He's very unhappy about that. Alright. You gonna come do something about it? Where are you at now? Um... Lava tank's filling up nicely, but I have no idea where he went. Outside, perhaps? Where'd he go? Or did he just run away for good? Ugh, door in my face. Um... Okay, I guess he decided to just run away. Okay, I'm going to have one of my stuffed eggplants. And that does like three, uh, three dots of hunger there. Let's get rid of some of these pigs, because I have way too many. They're all over the place. I'm even getting some outside the pen. Um, we'll get those first. Oops. Okay. Okay, so I think the next step in our power is to get energy tesseracts set up. And then once I get those set up... Uh oh too many pigs near the door gate. Once I get those set up, um, then I can start using that to transfer power um, around to different areas. Like um, to wherever I want to have my quarries set up. Um, I did make a Miscraft world. I will go ahead and uh, head over there in just a minute to uh, show you what it looks like. Um, I didn't add any pages. I let it uh, gen on its own. Um, I'm out of carrots. I need to get some more of those. Uh, but as you can see, I killed several uh, pigs here, and my sword is still very much intact. Um, 
I have used this encrusted pick to dig out the whole area down there and then some and uh, it's worked very well so I really like this okay so here's my little miscraft room up here um, it sticks out above the mountain you can see the smoke coming out of that over there um, now this is where it originally drops me it is a cave world uh, so I had to dig my way up and I made a link book to a little house upstairs Here we are. Uh, I've got some potatoes cooking. I'll need to make another um, roll anchor for here, possibly. Uh, but for right now, let's go outside and take a look. Um, now, it hasn't actually been nighttime, as far as I can tell. Um, and I've never seen the sun. Uh, so I'm guessing it's a dark sun, always up, maybe. Or maybe it's just an extremely bright world, so I can't tell it's nighttime, but I've never seen anything spawn either. Uh, as you can see over there, I have uh, nether quartz everywhere, uh, which is good. I'm going to be mining that later. Uh, here's where the last quarry was. Now, it was running on those magmatic engines, um, but I moved them uh, down into the basement of our house. Um, but I think this quarry is pretty much finished anyway. Uh, things are trying to load down there. That's fine. Um, and as you can see, I've made some barrels. Uh, since it's a cave world, we are we are quite high up. Uh, as you can see, we're at a level 129. Uh, so that's a long way to dig. So I made some barrels for dirt and a couple for cobblestone, and then I like just let it, you know, put everything else in these other chests. Um, I've already picked up the uh, the diamonds and uh, the iron and such, and moved that uh, to the other base. Um, and I'll come clean this out later. Um, now I didn't do enough to need the second chest here, but that's okay. Like I said, it's usually the cobblestone that's the problem. Uh, but what we can do is we can use this world um, as our digging age uh, and we could just move the quarry around and once we get the energy test racks going uh, I believe I should be able to send power from the base to here to run the quarry. Uh, now I don't know if I need to set up a second pump to be able to get uh, enough lava uh, to be able to s sustain this as well as uh, my base, uh, but if so, that's no big deal. We could set it up fairly close to the one we currently have uh, and uh, let that run. For right now, though, um, I think this is going to be about it. Um, so, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please join me again next time. Um, until then, I hope you all have a good day, and I will talk to you later. Bye!